With AudioVault Flex 1040, we have reimagined satellite integration from setup to execution. AudioVault Flex now gives the station two distinct graphical user interfaces for setting up satellite programming, one for the engineer and one for the program director. First, we'll look at the satellite show editor. This is where, typically, the station engineer would configure each show and the hardware responsible for getting that show to air. Here you can tell AudioVault Flex about the switchers and receivers being used and configure the necessary commands and routing. The satellite show editor is also where you give AudioVault Flex the details for each show. For example, the show name, which satellite receiver it's using, and the times the show is fed. You also tell AudioVault Flex about the relays that are used and the specific action for each relay, such as play a local liner or rejoin the show. You can also assign a window for AudioVault Flex to listen for each relay. This keeps AudioVault Flex from performing the wrong action if the satellite head in skips a relay. Actions can also be time based instead of using a relay. And finally, this is also the place where you set up local imaging and the relays that trigger it. In addition, the satellite show editor is also where you set up each hour for the shows and how they are executed, for example, by absolute time or contact closure. And you can see each hour in either a list view or a visual clock view. Now let's look at the programming side of the setup. This is done in AV Scheduler, where we have added a couple new components. First, the satellite show browser. This lists all of your shows and their hours. From here, you simply drag and drop a show onto your schedule. Also within AV Scheduler is a reduced version of the satellite show editor that allows the program director to make some changes to each show's specific configuration, such as feed times, hours, imaging, relays, etc. Finally, let's see what AudioVault Flex looks like during a satellite show. The engine gadget has changed slightly, as we've nested some elements to show that they are really part of a show. For example, here you can see the status of the current segment of the satellite show, and nested under it are the local events that are queued to play. From here, you can also stop or mute the satellite feed. We've also added a new satellite gadget that you can use to see the entire show clock, the current status, and what local liners are set for that show. You can also fire the liners from here or temporarily switch them out for the current airing of the show. There you have it, the newly reimagined satellite integration for AudioVault Flex 1040. For more information, visit bdcast.com or call a sales rep at 217-224-9600.